Jacobs, Branch One Safety. Today's safety video is going to be on trailer breakaway safety devices and how to properly hook them up to a truck. It's really important that we get a, these hooked up correctly for a couple of reasons. Um, number one, obviously it's a real easy gig for a compliance officer to hit us on if we don't have it hooked up correctly. And most importantly, number two, is if we do have a catastrophic failure of the, the chains on the trailer to the truck itself that it, it operates correctly engages the brakes of the trailer so we don't end up with a 10,000 pound missile shoot across lanes of traffic. So here let's take a look at uh, one example of exactly what not to do. Uh, here you have the, the breakaway safety device itself, the actuating cable, and exactly what you shouldn't do by clipping it directly to the safety chain on the truck. If you were to do this and we, we had a catastrophic failure and it's not connected to the frame of the truck, um, the device isn't going to work correctly and it's not going to stop the trailer. So here you can see how it should be connected properly. The cable should go directly to an attachment point on the truck. It should not be wrapped around any other object so that it has a, a free and clear pulling point to actually actuate the brake system itself. And when I say it can't be wrapped around any other object, one common mistake that we see out in the field is because sometimes these cables get too long, uh, it's real easy just to wrap them around the chain to try to keep them from dragging on the ground. Um, that's going to result in a violation as well. Okay, another thing I want to show you guys is that if you don't have a carabiner on your, on your breakaway cable, you can actually pull the pin from the safety device, loop it through your attachment point, whether it's here or up here, pull it through so it's free and clear, reinsert the pin back in. That's also going to be legal. One other thing I wanted to show you guys is a new style of breakaway cable that um, Fleet came up with, installed over Branch 1. It's more of a curly Q style breakaway cable. And what, what they really like about these is you hook it up to your attachment point, bring it back to the safety device, and it takes up all the slack. Um, I, hopefully that should help kind of prevent people from wanting to wrap around the older style cable around the chains.